Live. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And uh, this is some attacking rush on Operation Metro. Now, you might notice that I am actually playing... This is old gameplay, just let me be straight with you. You might see that the chat box is actually in the upper right corner, which which is was in this beginning of the game, and um, they later patched it to be in the top left corner instead, which uh, and made it smaller too. So that's uh, that's good. It, they scale they, it scaled better really uh, at different uh, screen sizes. And um, the reason for this being some old gameplay is because. I recorded this, I believe, before um, before Christmas or early January, when I wasn't making any, I weren't making any videos. I um, I took a break, I guess, and it was um, it was nice, but now I'm kind of feeling the urge to get back into it, as I've said before. And uh, what I'm doing here is working my way through all the carbines or carbines or however you want to pronounce it. But uh, uh, I work my way through them and lock everything for them, and then move on to the next weapon. And some might say that I'm—I uh, don't know. Some may have objections. I don't know what they would be, but someone always do. So, you know, haters gonna hate. I am—I um, enjoy playing through my games like this. And uh, as you also might see, this is also when I kind of favored the PKA-S site, which is the one I'm using currently, uh, and uh, it's a the holographic for the Russians, and I, uh, I I favored it to mostly and everything else at the moment. Now I'm kind of more partial to the uh, holographic of the Americans, so that's a fun fact for you. <laughs> We're pretty in. Uh, we're pretty fast at taking this first Demcom. We rush in and take it pretty quickly. And as you can see, I hide in my favorite bushes, where no one seemed to look back then. I, I'm not sure if people are more aware of it now than they were before, but it worked very well before. And as you can see, I'm running around owning people with my uh, G18C, and I pick up this kit with, with which is a an assault kit with the. M416 and I'm just checking out what kind of uh, equipment that I'm carrying with it. Uh, so we, as you can see he's been using a ACOG scope, the 4 times scope, which I'm really not partial to. I, I think it's horrible to use. I, I've never liked it. Um, well, it works kind of with um, semi-automatics I guess, as a uh, since you're not fully auto anyways. but. For anything fully auto, I really prefer the one-time scopes, like the red dots or holographics. And right here you can see me thanking this guy for putting out some uh, some health for me. Uh, which is something we should get better at, generally, in this game. And uh, the way you do it on PC, I'm not sure if it's possible on console even. I have to check that. Uh, well, you hold the spot or communication button, which is uh, Q by default. And by holding that, you'll get that menu, and you use the mouse to select one of the options. So, uh, just as a straight thought, a thought here, lately I've been communicating through um, emails with other per people, and that's not something uncommon by any means, but the thing is, the emails were kind of uh, formal of, of a kind, and sometimes it's not easy to communicate the kind of mood or the kind of tone you're writing something in. You might write something as a joke and it might come across as something else, as an insult or something like that. And it was also something that I had to learn when I started commenting on YouTube on my own videos because people who know me know that I'm not to be take. I, I mean, I'm pretty lighthearted. But people on YouTube don't know that, and I com I wrote a comment on one of my videos as a response to another comment, and he came back to me with, you don't have to be snarky about it, you don't have to be, you know, 
kind of uh, I, I don't know uh, I don't know which words to use but you know you don't need to to make fun of me and I was like I, I'm not making fun of you I'm uh, or or being snarky I, I'm just being me really so I have kind of had learned to use smileys as a serious um, I don't know serious device for communication to tell people that don't know me what kind of mood I'm in or what kind of mood I'm writing in uh, so what I'm proposing really is can't we just make um, smileys an official um, a device for communication do communication to communicate the mood we're writing in so people don't have to uh, to you know avoid misinterpretations uh, and misconstruisions of of um, letters and emails let me know guys what do you think about that the video is coming to a, to a quick end here uh, I don't ma like to make them for too long uh, like make them too long you know uh, YouTube time span uh, attention span and everything so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed hope to see you next time Slackers! Ho 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 ho!